Hello! Look, I'm back a week later. This hasn't happened in like years, in fact. I was going to say now that the road outside is quite noisy, so I apologise for that. They should all be at home under lockdown, but they're not. I also have a Padfoot who might bark, and we have a BN who is very happy, aren't you? And likes <laughs> to squeal with excitement that smile, and he, like, he likes looking at himself on the camera. And so, in my last video, I did a question tag one. I've got my cup of coffee here. And certainly, so my last video I ha did a question tag one and I really enjoyed it and I wanted to do another one but I couldn't find any questions I liked so my friend Ellis, hi Ellis, he watches my videos, he's probably the only one that does. So anyway, he sent me some questions to answer so let's get on with it. So my favourite memory from my childhood. Oh... So I had a really nice childhood, it was really happy. Yeah, I didn't think of any of the answers before these because I wanted just to get into them. And my favourite memory from my childhood is probably being at my nan's house, the, my nan who passed away. And we'd go there every day um, in the holidays or after school she'd pick us up because my mum and dad work full time. They did then and they still do now. And she'd always like make us sandwiches and we'd watch Kilroy on the TV and then like diagnosis murder. So it sounds weird, but they, I loved that. Like it was always, you know, it always seemed really warm. I don't know why, like it's always summer when, in my memory of her, like her bungalow and us just sitting there. So that's like my favorite memory of childhood. My dream holiday and why? Um, I think I answered this in my last one, but it would be Iceland. I would love to go to Iceland and why? Just because it seems absolutely beautiful. It just seems the most incredible place and I want to see like the black sand and all of the volcanoes and the waterfall. It's just, oh, it's got everything I want there. Like, it's just beautiful. Are you kicking me? Yes. Three wishes you could have. At the moment, I just really wish coronavirus would go away. I know as cheesy as that sounds, but I really miss my family and I really miss my friends. So that's the first wish. As my completely, you know, it's, it's you know, it benefits everyone. My second wish is I wish I had more money, selfish as it is, I just, I need money to like live. And my third wish is I wish I hadn't cut off my hair. These are like really self-absorbed or whatever, but it's my channel, I'll say whatever I want. So I had to cut my hair off because it was really broken after pregnancy, like you lose a lot of hair and stuff after like, you get to a certain stage after you've given birth. So I had to cut a lot of it off and I, this is really short for me and I don't like it. Superpowers, ooh. Oh, I'd love telekinesis. I'd be like, poof, poof. don't like you, poof, you're dead, don't like you. Just, I just love that. Meet two celebrities. Now which two celebrities would I like to meet? Oh, I know, I'd love to meet Jennifer Lawrence because I have the biggest girl crush on her. I just love her. She's like the perfect Katniss and I just, oh, she's so beautiful and I just want to marry her. And, ooh. I would have liked to meet Alan Rickman, but he died. Selfish. Happiest day of my life. I can <laughs> have to think about that one. It was the birth of my baba. Yes. As painful as it was, it was the happiest day of my life. I'm just going to sit him up. Do you want to sit up so you can see yourself? You want to stand up? This is our new thing, is we like standing up. If you could change your name, would you and why? No, I really like my name. Like, my name is Faye. It's in the title. Not with an E. That's the evil spelling. But no, I like my name. It's quite unusual. It's not too out there. You know, like BN. <laughs> I could never find my name on anything, but I like my name. So I've got more written. I've written it down because I'm so advanced with technology and stuff. Ooh. So... Favourite genre of music? Hmm, did I answer this before? I like a bit of everything really that isn't like... Okay, that's a lie. I don't like a bit of everything. I listen to a lot of... I hate to like rock music, like... Not heavy metal because I'm not going to pretend I'm cool enough to like that. But like, you know, rock. And I like some acoustic and I like some... Spiritual... <laughs> I like some <laughs> spiritual sort of music. 
things you hope for for Bjorn in the future. I just really want him to be happy. I'm always like, you can't have a girlfriend, can't leave me, or a boyfriend, whichever. But as long as he's happy and healthy and he's loved, that's all I want from him. This is real professional YouTube stuff, this. Favourite food. Now, you know, I do love chocolate very, very much because I'm a typical woman, but my favourite dinner is a curry. Oh my God, I love curry. Oh, it's just, I could eat it every day. Hobbies. When I do write, I'd say writing, I'm getting back into reading, so reading, and I also cross-stitch because I'm a billion years old. I only really cross-stitch really offensive things, so, or presents for people. My favourite serial killer and why? Oh, this is a good question, Ellis. So my favourite serial killer is Jeffrey Dahmer. I love Jeffrey Dahmer. I still think he was a terrible, terrible person and he should have been in prison. Completely agree with that. But I just find him so interesting. Like, if you ever watch interviews of him, um, they prove that he wasn't um, a psychopath. Like, they, he was mentally well enough to go to normal prison. But if you watch him interviewed, you're like, I don't know who came up with that conclusion because he's definitely a psychopath from what I've learnt in my studies as a professional person who does nothing all day. I watch a lot of murder documentaries. So favourite horror film and why? Um, I'm not actually a big horror fan because I'm a complete wimp, even though I have a favourite serial killer. <laughs> no, that's mine, that's mine. I've only seen a few, but you know, I watched The Lady in Black, which I really enjoyed because I don't really like gore. I think like gore is just more hilarious more than anything. And it's just like, right, oh, blood, <laughs> it's just, um, the lady in black I found really creepy. I think I just burped. I'm so sorry. I found it really creepy in. I, I like creepy. My favourite myth. Ooh, favourite myth, Bubba. If you've ever seen anything about goat, Goatsman Brit, Goatsman's Brit, the Goat Man. My favourite myth is about the Goat Man and his bridge. Favourite monster. I'm gonna say a basilisk. Because, you know, Slytherin. Would you ever be a witch in its prime? Oh God, yeah, definitely. Like, even if I wasn't, I would have been burnt just for being weird. Well, let's face it. Anyone with slight mental condition, get her on fire. This would finally be warm enough though. That's something to look forward to, isn't it? Habits, oh, habits. Are this bad habits or good habits? Because, you know, I do have OCD, and even though I'm medicated for it and I don't really do the routine thing anymore, I think I still do things that is very obsessive compulsive. Like, I'm so terrified of leaving the door unlocked. I know that sounds a, st a stereotypical thing, but I'm so scared of, like, someone getting in my house and stealing, like, when I'm out, you know, someone's going to break in and steal my stuff, steal the dog, someone's going to come in in the night and murder us, things like that. So I always check the door, like if I go past, always check it, like check it before bed, check both the, you know, something like that. Obsessions. God, where do we begin? I get so obsessed by things, like I like something and then I just get obsessed with it. At the moment, I haven't really got any obsessions obs as such. Not, you know, not as much as normal. Van Gogh's one, you know, or Van Gogh, Van Gogh, I can't say it, okay? Hopefully I didn't say anything offensive just then, but, you know, me and Vincent, we're in love. No, it's mine! A life goal, okay. So I would really love to own my own house. Uh, we rent this house, I love this house, this is our home, but... I want my own house that you know we've saved up for and we've brought and we can do anything to but I would really like to buy a really I'm gonna try to say this word and I'm gonna say it wrong but I'm gonna say it anyway a dilapidated house a check me out is it right house and I'd like to like you know really old really like just a shell of a house really and I would like to build it up from nothing I would love to do that and have this certain look like I want a really haunted looking house. Like, 
I love the houses in America that are all like, um, are they like in Louisiana or something? And they're all like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, they've all got like big windows and turrets. I, oh, I love them. I love them so much. I don't know the name of them, but we don't really get them here. And I don't want to move out of England because I, I just don't. It just doesn't really appeal to me. Are you enjoying looking at yourself? Oh, that's lovely. He's TV. Oh. Yeah. But yes, I would like to buy a really old, dead looking house and make it a home. I would love to do that. Anything on your bucket list? I suppose that counts as... Yeah. I suppose that would count as my bucket list. Um, A lot really. I think I want to go to Iceland. I want to... I would really like to go on a cruise because like I said, I'm a thousand years old and like cross stitch and nanny things. Yeah, maybe I should be, <laughs> I'm like nanny more than mummy. Your nanny's way cooler than me. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like to like do that and I'd travel. You know, I would like, I would like to take Bjorn all around the world. Just, oh, and the husband, obviously. Proud of it wouldn't be able to come on a cruise because he smells and they would evacuate it because he looks like the walking coronavirus. But yeah, I would really like to travel the world, have my own house, learn to drive. I can't drive. I've driven a car once and then he ran someone over at the time. So I would like to do that. What else would I like to do? God, there's just so much, I just can't think. Maybe learn to swim because I also can't swim. But then, you know, yeah, I would like to learn to swim. I don't know where I'm going with that. Oh, have my book published or write a book that is good enough to publish. Get back into writing would be, you know, above that. Where are you going, Bubba? Should we stand up? Should we stand up? Look at these cool dinosaur trousers. Look at these. Oh. So cool. More tattoos, that's on there obviously, more tattoos. <laughs> well that's what I can think of right now and I have finished my list. My list on my professional notebook here. I'm just gonna store that on the filing system that is the floor. Yes. I really enjoyed doing that and if you have any questions you wanna ask me, write down below. Or any ideas for anything I can do because for videos that is because isolation is so boring oh my god like I, I said last week i completely agree with it it needs to happen people are still being idiots and still going out when i'm i have to take the dog out i go by myself i try to go later in the day so i see no one and where i go which is normally dead i normally see about two other dog walkers it is crowded and they're groups of friends and things and we are supposed to be in lockdown and the longer it goes on the more we have to stay in lockdown so I've gone into a complete rant there. But what was I saying? What, where, what was I actually saying? Oh yeah, so I completely agree with the lockdown, but I want it to end. I want Corona to fuck off so I can see my, my friends, my friends and my family, my friends and family again. Uh, I'm just, I'm not a really big drinker anymore. I drink maybe once every three months, but I really, really want to go to the pub because I know I can't go so I automatically want to go and it has been lovely weather here like outside now is beautiful blue skies and it's warm and I would love to sit in a beer garden and have a really cold gin and lemonade oh my god that sounds amazing doesn't it you well you can't go because you're definitely underage but I will go I will go and I will get merry and I will have a lovely time yes are you going to smile for everyone? No? That's how I feel about the lockdown as well. And you know, it'd be nice to go out more than twice a day. Do you ever go out more than twice a day? Oh, that was the time. Anyway, so leave a comment, give us a, <coughs> give us a like, and put some ideas below, please. Thank you very much. Goodbye.